Hey you guys, today I want to talk about one simple programming concept that has completely changed my coding life. It's called the ternary operator and not nearly enough people know of it or use it properly. The great thing about the ternary operator is we can take a typical if statement like this and condense it down into one line of very simple readable code. We can read this line of code by saying our boolean field equals the output of the ternary statement. Then to read the ternary statement, we say if bool condition is true, take the first value, else Take the second value after the colon. A useful mnemonic for remembering the ternary statement is, is this condition true? Yes, otherwise, no. I always prefer learning through examples, so let me show you one real quick. Here I have a very simple mono behavior class in Unity named player. Let's create two member fields named can move and player speed. Now let's pretend we have a function that updates the player speed named update speed. If we wanted to update our player speed based on the Boolean can move, Normally we might use an if else statement like this. The problem is, using this popular syntax, our logic is unnecessarily long, coming in at eight lines, making it less readable. We can completely condense this code into a single line by instead using the ternary operator. Here we say, if can move is true, set player speed to one. Otherwise, if false, set it to zero. Let's up the ante a little bit more and show how powerful and flexible ternary operators can be. Let's add in a new condition called is frozen. Now we only want to let the player move if can move is true and is frozen is false. So all we have to do is encapsulate the Boolean logic of the ternary statement in parentheses, adding and not is frozen. This statement now evaluates to one if can move is true and is frozen is false otherwise we set the player speed to zero hope this helped you guys if you can take a second to help me by liking and subscribing i'll see you next time